In a shocking turn of events at AFCON 2023, the Ghanaian national football team faced not only the disappointment of elimination, but also the wrath of enraged fans, following a disheartening 2-2 draw against Mozambique in their last group stage match on Monday, the Black Stars of Ghana found themselves on the receiving end of fan fury. The aftermath unfolded in dramatic fashion as angry supporters targeted and vandalized the team bus, symbolizing the heightened emotions and frustration stemming from the team's failure to secure a crucial victory for advancement in the tournament. This incident marks a somber chapter in Ghana's African journey, reflecting the intense passion and disappointment experienced by both players and fans alike. The Black Stars, once on the cusp of qualification, suffered a crushing 2-2 draw against Mozambique, conceding two stoppage time goals that left them teetering on the brink of elimination. As angry voices echoed through the media, Ghana now finds itself in need of a miraculous turn of events to qualify as one of the four best third-place teams, with hosts Ivory Coast and Group E's third-place finisher already guaranteed to surpass Ghana in points. The road ahead appears steep for the beleaguered national team. The Black Stars entered the pitch with high stakes eyeing a crucial win to secure a coveted spot in the round of 16. The first half saw promise as Jordan Ayu converted a penalty, giving Ghana a 1-0 lead at the break. Ayu struck again in the second half from the penalty spot, putting Chris Hutton's side in a favorable position to clinch all three points and secure qualification for the next round. However, the tides turned dramatically as Mozambique staged a late comeback, netting a goal in the 91st minute and securing an equalizer from a corner kick in the 94th minute. The heart-wrenching turn of events shattered Ghana's aspirations, leaving them on the sidelines and the fans in disbelief. The media, fueled by frustration, demanded to speak with the players who, in turn, headed directly for the team bus. Reports emerged that the journalists allegedly blocked the only exit, forcing an unexpected turn of events. After an hour of standoff, the Ghanaian players were left with no choice but to walk through the media mix zone, where some journalists, consumed by anger, refrained from asking questions and even resorted to booing the team bus. This unprecedented post-match spectacle reflects the depth of disappointment and discontent within the media following Ghana's precarious situation in the tournament. So, what are your thoughts on the intense post-match backlash faced by the Ghanaian national team? Do you believe this reaction is warranted, or is it an unfortunate result of heightened emotions? Share your insights in the comments below. For more captivating stories and updates on sports, stay connected with the New Africa channel.